In the last video, we were talking about our view, and we used this lang load inside our view in order to load in our language class. And then further down, we used this lang line to load in the particular line that we wanted um, from the language file. Here we're referencing the um, name underscore value index, and here the message value index. So let's take a look at where those are coming from. Underneath my application folder, I have a language folder, and inside the language folder, there's two other folders, which is the English folder and the French folder. And inside the English one, I have a file called contact underscore form underscore English underscore lang dot php, and the French one is similar. So the difference between the file name and um, what we did right here is on the file name you need to add underscore lang at the end for it to work. So we can take a look at what's happening inside that file. And let's just open it up right here. And here you see we're just setting the different indexes of the lang array. So here lang name is set to a value, lang message is set to a value, and we have all the English values right here. And then if we go over to the one in the um, French folder, you'll see that we have the same array and the same indexes, but these are set to their French equivalents. So we can talk about our create post function right here. The first thing we're doing is we're loading in the form validation library. And what we're doing after that is we're loading in our model, and our model is called model message. And when someone sends us a message, what we're going to do is we're going to store their name and their message and their timestamp into a database. After that we have our form validation rules and let's just make this a bit smaller here so we can see it all. And for the um, text input with the, uh, with the name of sender name, um, basically we have its uh, human readable value here, just name. And then we're setting the rules for that input which is its required field. Um, the maximum length is 50 characters. And that matches up with what we did in our database when we set that field as a varchar with a maximum of 50 characters. So what we're doing here is we're ensuring that we're not in storing something into our database that's bigger than the field can handle. So um, this uh, matches up with what we did in our database. And we have excess as clean here. That makes sure there's no SQL injection going into our database. And then uh, we also have alpha dash here. That means their name can only have um, letters or numbers or a dash in it. Okay? And there's other options you can choose. Um, they're all on CodeIgniter's documentation. And we also have form validation for the sender message. And that's similar. Um, it has a minimum length of 10. So it must be at least 10 characters. And we did the same validation on the client side with JavaScript. So this just makes our application a lot stronger because on the server side, we're requiring it to be um, at least 10 characters, and also on the client side, and that just makes things a bit more secure. And also, XSS is clean for that because that is one of those um, inputs that they can put text into and potentially put an SQL injection. The next thing we have is if this form validation run is equal to false. So here we're invoking a function, and if one of these didn't check out, then this function invocation right here is going to return false. So if false is equal to false, then we're just going to load in our view again, and we're going to send them back to the contact form and make them fill it out again. Okay. But if this was true, then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to our to our else block right here, and then we're going to check um, what was the language they posted. So on the um, on the uh, contact form here, if um, if this was set to English then what we're doing here is we're going to post that it was English and we saw that in our view um, right here so we have um, the select the name is language and these are the options so this is going to post whether um, that select was set to English or French and we're just getting that value and then what we're doing is we're setting their session um, in their user data we're setting the language to English and if it was French then we're setting it to French and we can see that inside our database um, here we have the different sessions and if I open this up to look at it we'll see that I set um, the language to English and so that gets stored in the database um, in their session and we can keep moving along here so the next thing I'm doing is just um, creating the data array and um, 
data sender right here this is set to uh, this input post and the sender name and then we're getting uh, their message here and then storing as data message so when you're accessing post data in CodeIgniter you'll use this syntax right here this input post and then pass in um, the name of the input field here the name of the text area and then we're storing that inside our data array right here and then we're also setting that into these two variables sender and message because um, those are a little bit easier to work with and after that we are going to um, do some stuff with our model so here we are going to um, access our model and we have this model message and then we are um, invoking the insert message method um, of the model and we're passing that uh, sender and message so this is the only um, information we need to pass to our model in order to store that in database um, basically their name and their message and we're also going to um, store the timestamp in the database but we don't need to pass that in because the database um, can get that on its own so let's um, open up our model here and inside our model we have class model message extend CI model our constructor function and then here we have our function insert message and that takes the name and the message and inside our data array here uh, we have an associative array and name is set to sender and message is set to the message that was passed into it and then in order to um, insert into your database in CodeIgniter all you have to do is this db insert and this is the table name that we're uh, sending it to so we're going to store it in the messages table and then here in the second parameter we pass in our associative array so the way this works is um, the name field of our of our um, table and we're going to store sender in there in the message field of our database we're going to store the message in there and if we look at the database um, you'll see that that's how it is so let's go to structure right here and let's go to a messages uh, structure again and you'll see here I have name and message and that matches up he right here with our associative array name message and what do we want to store in those different fields and then we just pass in that associative array um, as our second parameter here now in CodeIgniter if there if it was a successful insertion into the database then it's going to return true and if it wasn't su successful then it's going to return false so whatever we get from that we're just storing that right here inside inserted and then this function is just going to return inserted so this is going to return true or false uh, whether on whether it was inserted or not so we can go back to our controller right now so if inserted is set to true then what we're going to do is we're going to load this view which is view message sent and basically what that contains is just um, a success message for them um, that the message was successfully sent so and we can see that right here and click send and thank you your message has been sent let's take a quick look at that and here you can see we're loading in our language class again so this langload uh, contact underscore form underscore english and um, yeah this is also going to be English right here well depending on whatever's in their um, in their session so if it's French then this is going to load in um, the French language class for them and if they're English it's going to load in the English class and then here we're just um, echoing out you know um, the message sent one and if we look inside the English language you'll see right here thank you your message has been sent